you need this. I promise you, you need this. This is a Milwaukee pack out milk crate or crate with a handle. And it has just become my favorite way to carry tools. I'm sure many of you can forge your own, but I found this on a website called Stack Smarter. 14 bucks, you can't beat it. I noticed a note saying that in Instagram stories, there were instructions on how to install this. I figured I'd make a YouTube video on it. Right here, I'm pointing out the two drill points. You see them marked with a marker. And front to back, I would call these square four and seven. So if you count front to back, you'll go one, two, three, four openings, and then keep going up to seven, mark those, and that'll be your mark points. Now I've shown you the handle and I've shown you the hardware that comes with it. We need to start making the holes so that we can go ahead and put the screws through that will hold the handle and the brackets. Make sure to empty your crate like I just did. <laughs> I forgot to do it so that uh, it, it doesn't impede you from drilling. Now, drilling through the square is actually pretty easy. And that's actually what can become problematic, that it's so easy to drill through here that it is actually quite easy to lose control of the drill and the drill bit as you go through here. Now, this is specifically for aesthetics only. You want the holes to line up and be square, even, whatever phrase you like best, because you want the bracket to sit there perfectly flat and even. So here's the bracket so I can show it to you. And here's how it goes in. And you want it to be straight. Now, we've got both holes, both sets of holes on the right side and left side done. Now we're going to put together the brackets and the handle first. This is the inside screw that actually attaches right to the handle. So you put it right through the handle and you go ahead and tighten up that 11 millimeter sized nut on there. And you're going to do this to both sides of the handle. You're not going to see me do the left side, but this is what it looks like completed. And this is what the completed handle looks like. You have a bracket on the right hand side and a bracket on the left hand side tightened together with that 11 millimeter locking nut and that Phillips screw. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the handle to the Milwaukee crate. And we do that by dropping in the 11 millimeter self locking nuts into the holes that I designated as four and seven earlier. And as soon as you pop them in there, you'll notice that they fit in there quite tight. So you should be able to start them by hand just as I'm doing here. Now let's use an impact driver to get it tight. And the tightening strength that you want it at is the German measurement of Guten Titan. <laughs> I heard that on the live stream the other day and it made me laugh. So Guten Titan is the new way I tighten stuff here. And here we go on the other side, and I'm actually doing this just a bit different. I'm putting in the screw first and trying the nut, the self-locking nut in there. I wanted to see if there was a better method. Either way works, whatever works for you is what gets it done. And here we go with my favorite measurement of locking torque strength, which is Guten Tight. <laughs> And here's a good close-up look at what it looks like when it's all finished. A very inexpensive option to upgrade your Milwaukee pack-out crates and easy to put together five minutes or so. Look at that. Just wonderful, easy engineering design. Now let me do some testing to ensure that I made the right decision in purchasing this product. Having the handle is a game changer for me. And you'll notice that it does not, talking about change, change or impede how the crate actually connects to the rest of the packout system. It easily stacks and the handle goes to the back and does not, again, 
impede or hurt the back black portion that would stack sideways. So even with the handle in the front, it doesn't stop or bother anything. This is a awesome design. Milwaukee should be actually introducing this, but I have to thank Stack Smarter. I don't know who they are, but thank you because this has changed my life and it saves my back, which is why it saved my life. I've got a bad back. It hurts every day. Now, I have to tell you that I also have a Joey, which is another attachment that goes on my pack out, and this is stacked right on top of it. And as you can see here, zero issue with the Joey. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is your friend, your amigo, Ed the Old Tech Guy, signing off. Mm -hmm.